guys, how are you doing? This is Harjit here. Uh, I'm back with one more video. I hope you are enjoying different videos on my channel. Uh, I have been getting good response and people are asking for more and more videos. Uh, I wanted to communicate that uh, uh, I will definitely make those videos. Uh, it's just that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just held up with some personal stuff and, uh, uh, you know, things in my personal life. So uh, I may not get time to make all the videos that you're requesting but definitely i am recording and listing them um, and uh, i'll definitely cover those videos one by one so this video is in continuation with our previous video which was about uh, uh, broadcast join so in that video we had understood what is broadcast join and in this video we'll cover practical for that we'll cover that how to implement broadcast joins in spark I had talked about one property uh, which was spark.sql.autobroadcastjoin threshold. This property tells you that uh, if the size of your data, uh, size of one of the smallest table that you are joining uh, is greater than a number, then that uh, broadcast join will not be executed. Uh, a shuffle merge join, shuffle hash join or a sort merge join will be executed. If the size of your smaller table is smaller than the number set in this property, then by default broadcast join will be executed as part of your join query. Let us look into what is the default value. Uh, default value is 10 MB. So that's the number that is reflecting here. Uh, to understand broadcast join, let us create a few data frames. Let's create two data frames. Uh, uh, let's call it A. Eight. Three more data frames. I'm just creating these data frames to exhibit you uh, the example of uh, joins, how they will be implemented. Cool. So our data frames are implement. Uh, data frames are created. Now let us join these data frames. It's very easy. You just need to say data frame one dot uh, the other data frame with which you want to join. In this case, it is data frame two. Uh, so I will. I can also put a where condition on which column I want to join. In this scenario, I want to join on ID column. So if you might have seen that ID is the column that is created by default, uh, then you know I will give the second tables column, which is again ID. Good. So this was the query. Our two tables are joined. So I can hit explain that what is exactly happening. So you might have seen that uh, broadcast join is happening. So you know, see here, broadcast exchange is happening. Uh, you know, one of the tables in broadcast exchange means one of the tables is being sent to all the nodes uh, on which other table is there. And then broadcast has join is happening. Broadcast has join is also called map site join or uh, uh, you know replicated join. Uh, you know, if sometimes people try to confuse you in during, during interviews, so just keep uh, be aware of this thing that the broadcast hash join is also called replicated join or uh, uh, you know uh, map only join. So you know, I kind of uh, forgot this thing. So I can set the property of uh, you know. Let's copy the property from above. I can set this property to minus one and uh, then Spark will not run a broadcast join for uh, uh, you know for all for any kind of join. So we can try this. 
so we can try to do join of data frame 1 and data frame 3 so data frame 3 has name c let us do join of 1 and data frame 3 and then if i do explain plan you will see that by default sort merge join is happening so i'm using spark 2.3 so in that uh, default join is sort merge join so uh, you know if you are in a situation uh, you know where uh, you want to use by default sort merge join is happening and you still want to uh, do a broadcast join so you can give a hint to spark that i want to do a uh, you know broadcast join by explicitly uh, you know uh, uh, explicitly broadcasting uh, one of the smaller data frames in on your cluster so i will broadcast I'll broadcast uh, one of the variables, say DF4, to on my cluster. So I will say Spark dot uh, you know range thousand, uh, and then as B. So our data frame is our you know uh, this will this is kind of a hint to spark that i want to do a broadcast join so broad join broadcast join and df1 dot join bf4 and uh, then the wear condition in wear condition uh, we need to mention uh, a dot id then d sorry dollar d dot id so even though by default my broadcast join is uh, disabled by giving a hint i can you know ask spark to do broadcast join so even though your broadcast join is enabled and your spark is not doing broadcast join because of the size of data or something you can you know give it a hint that i want to run broadcast join for this set of data so uh, you know you can uh, do it through sql also uh, df dot create or replace temp view df1 then df4 dot create or replace and view df4 so we have registered these tables now we can use spark sql to do joins of these table select star from uh, df1 uh, inner join df4 on df uh, one id equal to df4 id and then i can do a explain this should do a broadcast join okay where did we make the mistake There was a spelling mistake on inner. Good. So we did the broadcast join here. Uh, so you can do a non broadcast join also. Yeah, to create 